So MEPAR is, as we see it, the technology leading Hadoop distribution. It does Hadoop extremely well, but it does other things as well as Hadoop. And these other things include the use of ordinary programs to access the file system. And in particular, for today, it has the ability to facilitate search. And Grant, let's, let's talk a little bit about what search means in a MapR cluster. So MapR provides big data capabilities, provides conventional file access, and the ability of programs like Solar and Lucene to access that file system. But then Lucene brings, and Solar and LucidWorks, bring special capabilities to the game, don't they? Yeah, I think that's right, Ted. I mean, I think with when you're looking at things like Lucene, Solar, LucidWorks, Search, you're talking about uh, perhaps a different way of accessing data than you might be used to with a traditional database. You, of course, can do kind of standard search things like keyword-based search like we're all used to on the web, but you can also drive things like faceting, deeper analytics that are based off of more fuzzy notions, if you will, than your traditional uh, SQL-based approaches. And so when you look at how Solar and LucidWorks search work, work with MapR, you get all of the benefits of MapR, the speed, the capabilities, the reliability. And then you have yet another arrow in your quiver, if you will, for accessing and slicing and dicing that data. Now, there's one thing in addition. I think a lot of people see MapR's working with legacy software as a way for big data to work with small data. And I think a lot of people have a parallel notion that search, uh, textual search, index search, tends to be a small data kind of thing. But that isn't really right, is it? I mean, search is bigger than it used to be. Of course. I mean, obviously, with the large internet companies, uh, internet search companies have, of course, pioneered a lot of these things. But we routinely see in our community and our and in our customer base, people doing you know billions and billions of documents, whether that's office documents of Word, et cetera, or if it's log and machine-generated data, you are, of course, driving a lot of content through search and giving, essentially, your customers, your, your users, the ability to ask ad hoc questions of that data in a way that they're very familiar with asking because, let's face it, we all do search every day on the web, whether that's Google, Bing, Facebook, Twitter, et cetera. Thank you to InfoSeq for training us all in that deeply difficult technology. But MAMPAR also then adds the ability to do real-time kind of things in the file system directly without the, the mediation of other kinds of software. And that really helps the search system too, doesn't it? Well, that's exactly right. And, and also on the, from the Lucene and Solar side, we've made a lot of investments in making sure that you can have your data be available to you as soon as it's in the system. So the combination of the speed of MapR with the new algorithms and approaches we have in Lucene and Solar 4.0 especially, it all becomes very easy to do things in real time. So that's fun. Uh, this is going to be really exciting, I think, going forward as, as we work together, as we're able to deploy mixed systems. Already we have several customers that have had huge benefits. One of them had a deployment time that went from eight hours to three minutes with Solar. Uh, I think that's just huge, huge potential. Yeah, and quite large scale of documents as well, too. And, and actually a non-traditional kind of search, if you will. Obviously, there's still a, a type uh, keywords into the search box aspect to it, but also search driving a lot of the underneath things in terms of the way we're looking at the data. I think both of us came from the search research world where our lives were search, but I think a lot of the customers going forward are going to find that their lives are queries behavioral search and things like that. Yeah, and, and really looking at, I think, the kind of conceptual side, they want deeper meaning, they want to bring in a lot of other features than just keyword-based matching. And so what we're continually see really here is a revolution in search, if you will, that is in no small part powered by the capabilities that a big data product like MapR brings to the table. Because if, let's face it, if the more data we can bring in, search then is really powerful at bringing those different disparate data sources together. So text search engines aren't limited anymore to just searching exactly the words that you would like to search with. They, they, they can be extended to search abstract tokens that actually carry meaning, semantics, more than just single words, right? Yeah, that's dead on, Ted. I mean, I think the, 
Uh, for instance, we've seen a number of uh, customers, actually mutual customers, doing, for instance, building recommendation engines where there's actually no nobody typing in keywords into the, into the search box, if you will, yet all of the underlying math, et cetera, that's done in a search engine applies very well to that kind of problem, as well as a number of different other problems. And we've seen some exciting developments in the Mahood community just lately with the ideas of uh, Lucene Solar Index actually being a matrix to be directly manipulated in these mathematical constructs, right? Oh, that's exactly right. I mean, one of my very early on goals with Mahout was, in fact, to bring the two together. I, it, Mahout uh, actually started as part of the Lucene and Solar community, and then we spun it off as as it grew and I, as it had a number of different use cases. But for me personally, right on, right from the beginning, I wanted to see these two work together so that you could do interesting things. Because let's face it, a lot of uh, what people want to do, especially if they're doing high-end search or they're monetizing their search capabilities, they need that deeper understanding that machine learning can bring to the table. They need the ability to slice and dice their users in different ways or do things like classification of their content or of their user queries. And so the combination of those two really goes well together. And then I think when you look at uh, our two companies, be basically being able to take the scalability capabilities of Mahout put that on top of MapR, and then tightly integrate it with search via LucidWorks Search and LucidWorks Big Data, you have a really powerful combination of capabilities there, which we can then deliver to customers in a seamless fashion. Yeah, in fact, if you if you look at the pedigree of things, it's kind of unusual, but you could view um, MapR as the nephew of, uh, of uh, solar because Hadoop came out of Lucene community, MapR came out of the Hadoop community, Mahout came out of Lucene, and so we have pretty tight little family here. Yeah, that's definitely the case. I mean, I think, uh, you know, the, what you're seeing really happen here is that as people are scaling out the amount of data you have, you, you of course, need to have a holistic approach to how you're going to interact with that data. Search is a critical part of that. I think the machine learning is a critical part of that. And then, obviously, the underpinnings, the easy, dependable, fast capabilities that uh, MapR's Hadoop brings to the table really allows you to kind of blow this out uh, scale-wise. I think this is going to be a hell of a partnership. Yeah, I think so as well. I'm very excited to be working with uh, Ted just at a personal level as well as MapR from a company level. We've been working together for a lot of years, uh, and now, it, now it's uh, now it's going to be official again. Yeah, let's do it.